Hi everyone, welcome to another 3D printing video. I'm Agustin Flowalistic and today I want to show you the 3D printer teleprompter I designed to help me with my videos. I'm using it right now so I can't show it to you, but don't worry, we are going to see it in a second. So, being in front of the camera is not easy, especially if, if you are going to speak in a different language or talk about topics that involve technical specifications or another references. Both cases applied to me and I didn't want to be like uh, mm, every 10 seconds as it's time you're losing and it's technically my fault. After using this teleprompter in, the, in my last two videos I can say it has saved me hours and well minutes in your case. So going back to the design I've tried to keep it small and modular as each one of us has access to different cameras tablets, smartphones and of course mirror glasses. Now I'm going to show you a quick sketch how I created the model and finally how it works. The first thing we need to sketch is the quick release plate. This is the original part but we are going to mod it to add space for the new components. We are going to move back the camera as we need to make place for different parts like the phone and the mirror glass that we are going to use. This design works around the lens you use, so if you are going to use a different lens than the original one, maybe you want to move the camera closer to the mirror or back. We will need some extra space, so we are going to make the quick release plate thicker. We are going to make some space to add, for example, the back part that will hold the camera. This part requires some strength and, of course, some holes. As I mentioned, we will need to attach the camera further or closer to the glass depending on the lens we are using. On one side of the model we will have the camera and on the other one we will have the mirror and the smartphone. Here we have to take into account that the mirror needs to have a 45 degree inclination and we will also have to consider the size of the glass that we are going to use depending if we are going to use a smartphone or a tablet. As this design may be too big and difficult to print, we are going to separate it in two different parts that we are going to attach using a simple hole. So now we've got the main part that will hold the camera and will be attached to the tripod. And then we are going to create a clip for the glass and also the part that will hold the phone or tablet. So now let's move to Fusion 360 and create the 3D model. The first part that we need to model is the quick release plate. We need to add some extra thickness to the quick release plate part as we need to be able to detach it from the tripod and also we need to make some space for the different parts that will hold the camera. This is the longest part and the one that will hold the camera. We will use the original screw that was provided with the tripod and we use the same hole diameter as in the original part. We place different holes as we need the camera to be as close as possible to the reflecting glass. That will depend on the lens and the zoom you use when recording. We will add a small structure on this part to make it more resistant as we want to avoid any possible accident. On the other side we will add a small clip to hold the glass. In my case it's a 1.5mm glass. Remember that this part need to have a 45 degree inclination to reflect the text. I will just add some details like this curved part to hold the lens in place centered. I've also added some fillets to the model and the reason is I want to avoid having any weak points that may suffer if I apply some extra force in any moment. This design is meant to be 3D printed and as layer orientation affects the resistance we are going to print it on its side. The only thing left to do now is export the STL file, print it and see if it works. So now we've already printed the two parts of the design and to compare this is the original quick release plate and this is the teleprompter main part. So the first thing we need to do is take the camera, the camera we are going to use and attach it. So for that we are going to use the same nut as the original quick release plate and we are going to attach it like this. There are different holes here from you to, to choose. It all depends on the lens you are using. This is a 24mm lens and it's really short so we go to the second hole. 
we attach it and it snaps in place. Now what we need to do is insert the glass. Be careful with fingerprints. I recommend you to clean the, to, to clean the glass before you, you insert it. And this one chipped while I was recording, but it still works. So we just snap it here in place like this. It should be centered, but it doesn't really matter at this moment. Depending on your lens, you will need to zoom a little bit or not. And the next part should be some blue tape to hold the phone or tablet you're using. This you can modify it and make it thicker, but this was enough for me. We just hold it like this in place. We take our phone, which has already the text. It's mirrored, it's an Android app. There's, in the, there's a link in the description. We just put it here. As you can see, it's, it's already mirrored, but it will be better when we add some dark or black fabric. I'm using a t-shirt, for example. And like this, you cover it up to the mirror. This way, as you can see, it mirrors. And when you record, this is not visible. The text is not visible, it's just as neat as if there wasn't any mirror or teleprompter system. And this is how it works, how I use it. It's really easy, really cheap, and if you just tap, it continues. You can choose the speed, font size, and font style. So that's it. It's, as you can see right now, using the teleprompter helps a lot, at least in my case. Communication is smoother, thing that is the most important thing to me. So please also consider that this teleprompter may not be compatible with your gear, but I hope it can at least inspire you. The design is meant to be 3D printed, but as it's based on a very simple design, I think it can also be made with a laser cutter or a CNC machine. The files and all the information about this model can be found in the description below. Also, if you, I hope you like this video and don't forget to like it and subscribe to this channel. If you want to support my designs and videos and experiments, I invite you to check my Patreon page. There you will, of course, get weekly updates and exclusive content. I want to thank all my supporters, especially the Patreon MVPs, which are listed in the description below. You can also find me on Twitter or Instagram, mainly 24-7, and that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed with the video, and see you next time.